Uzak. Merhaba arkadaşlar. Hepiniz IFT Talks webinarlarına hoş geldiniz. Bugün ABD'nin pilotaj, uzay ve havacılıkta en iyi okulu olan Embry Riddle'da eğitimi Tera'dan dinliyor olacağız. Lütfen sorularınızı questions kısmından sormayı unutmayın. Yes, Tara, the stage is yours now. Great, thank you so much. Thanks to all of the students who are participating today. Um, it's a pleasure to meet with you and I'm going to thank you in advance for your time and attention. And just go over a few housekeeping uh, things as we get started. Um, starting off with introducing myself. My name is Tara Good. I'm the Director of International Admissions at Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona Beach, Florida. And I'm going to be spending a little time with you today uh, telling you a little bit about Embry-Riddle as a whole. And I'm very much looking forward to answering your questions. Uh, we will save the questions until the end. Um, so feel free to put your questions in the chat box as we go. And at the end of the presentation, I will do my best to answer all of your questions. Please take a moment to take a quick snapshot um, or screenshot of my contact information. You can reach out to me anytime. I'll be happy to chat with you. Um, we can set up a virtual one-on-one -on -one session. So uh, please take a quick uh, or jot down my email address and I'll be happy to chat with you after the presentation. And of course, I will follow up with an email with more information on Embry Riddle. So I look forward to staying in touch with you. And without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. I'd like to start out by explaining a little bit more about Embry-Riddle and where we're located. So starting off with our three individualized campuses. So we have two residential campuses, one in Florida, one in Arizona, and one worldwide online campus that I'll tell you a little bit more about as we go. But as I mentioned, I'm calling you today from the Florida campus. And with that said, I'm going to show you a brief video on Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. in technology, aviation, business, and cybersecurity. A future defined by innovation. Finding solutions for industry partners is the world's premier aerospace institution. Our continuing success speaks for itself. We've earned top distinctions across our campuses and worldwide. We are training the workforce of tomorrow, adding value to the industries we serve and expanding our growing global reach. We promote problem-based discovery in career-focused programs. We are the leading edge, a global education leader opening up opportunities for students. Our history and heritage spans nearly 100 years, founded with a vision of endless possibilities to launch new generations of pioneers and dreamers putting the future firmly into focus for us and for you. Emory Riddle Aeronautical University. What will you explore with us? So I hope that video gave you a brief introduction to Emory Riddle, but I'm really excited to tell you a little bit more. Um, starting with the fact that there are going to be over 66 million jobs um, supported in worldwide, worldwide in the aviation related fields. And of this, 10.2 million people wor will work directly in the aviation industry. So our strength lies in the fields of flight, engineering, business, technology, and space. And I'll be telling you a little bit more about that today and where our alum have gone on after they've graduated just to give you an idea of what's happening with our alums. But before we move on, I think it's important to point out that obviously we have been through a very difficult time over the last year and a half with our global pandemic. And so I would be remiss to not point out the fact that um, certainly many industries have suffered during this time, including 
uh, the aviation industry. But with that said, what we know about the aviation industry um, is that from historical data, uh, yes, the aviation industry does take a short dip after a global crisis, but the good news is that the aviation industry always jumps back very quickly. So that's what this graph is here to show you, that um, if you're interested in aviation or a related field, um, certainly we know that um, that industry has already started to uh, greatly improve and will continue to do so. So let's start off with some fun facts, uh, starting with seven of our Embry-Riddle graduates have gone on to become astronauts. We have over 137 alum around the globe. Our campuses have been ranked number one in their respective states um, and also known as um, high earning potential um, graduate and undergraduate programs at every riddle. So that's important to know. And then we have industry and career expos every fall and every spring. And we've been ranked as one of the top five online bachelor's programs. So if you're interested in studying completely online, that is an option for you. We've been ranked number one in aerospace engineering by US News and World Report, the first and only aerospace physiology program in the nation, and the first college of security and intelligence in the nation. So when it comes to our online program, as I mentioned, you can study completely online from your home country. So if this interests you, we'll go over those degree options a little bit later on. But let's start with aviation and business. I'm sure that many of you on the call today might be interested in this area. And the great news is that this area is expected to grow by 25% um, through the next year. So this is a fast growing field where there's going to be a huge need for new civil aviation pilots, maintenance technicians, and new crew cabin uh, members as well. So with that said, here's a list of our aviation and business programs. Our aeronautical science program is one of our most popular programs, and this is our flight program. So if you're interested in becoming a pilot and you want to do your flight training at Embry-Riddle, you would choose aeronautical science. Uh, please keep in mind that you'll want to stay in touch with me because there are some capacity issues with this very, very popular program. Um, so you'll want to reach out to me if you're interested in this program and I can let you know the next program start date for you. Uh, with that said, there's so much more to Embry-Riddle than just training pilots. Uh, you can see here we have air traffic management, um, aviation maintenance science, if you want to be a technician for an aircraft, business administration, aviation business administration, logistics and supply chain management, leadership. So many, many different options for you at Embry-Riddle. So I'm going to briefly point out what our alum have gone to do um, after they've graduated. Um, I'm going to go over these pretty quickly because I have a lot of alumni spotlights. So I'll leave this up for a second for you to take a look at this student who um, his home country was Nigeria and he came to our Prescott, Arizona campus and he was an aeronautical science major. And moving right along, um, this is our next student originally from Israel and went to our worldwide online campus. And next we have a student that came from his home country of Singapore and went to our Asia campus. So we also have a campus in Asia that's actually located in Singapore. And um, so this is just a great way to kind of get to know our alums and where they've gone on after they've graduated. And I think this is the last one um, under this field. Um, this student was originally from Saudi Arabia and he came to the Daytona Beach campus and he studied aeronautical science. And he completed our Embry-Riddle Language Institute. So if you are interested in studying um, English as a second language um, and you need some help with your language skills, that's definitely something we can offer you at Embry-Riddle. Next, we'll go into engineering and space. I know there may be several of you uh, joining today that are interested in engineering or maybe you're interested in space. And um, we are looking to help train the next generation of space professionals. And so with that said, I'm going to show you some of our degree programs in this area. Um, our aerospace engineering is one of our top, most popular programs. Um, we also have an amazing astronomy, astrophysics program. 
And when it comes to engineering, we have civil, electrical, computer, mechanical, software. So really we run the gamut of all um, or many engineering disciplines. Um, and we offer many of those programs at the master's and doctoral level as well. So hopefully there's a program of interest for you um, somewhere along the way. I'm gonna again, give you a minute to look over our alumni slides um, to learn a little bit more where our alums have gone on to go after they have graduated. And this next student is from South Korea, went to our Prescott, Arizona campus. And you'll see her current job as a flight operator and research and development aeronautical engineer. So our students are going on to do amazing things. Uh, Sophia is from Cameroon originally and came to the Daytona Beach campus for electrical engineering. And um, she just graduated, so it'll be interesting to see where she goes on. So next, I mentioned that we are the first university to offer a College of Safety, Security, and Intelligence. And this is one of the fastest growing career paths in the world. Highly trained safety and security and intelligence professionals are increasingly sought by businesses, governments, and militaries. So this is a fast growing field. And I wanted to list out our bachelor's and master's programs for you. So if you're interested in cyber intelligence and security, global conflict studies, global security and intelligence, homeland security, there's so many options for you. And then again, going on to our um, alums and where they've, where they've gone on to. Um, so the student originally from Taiwan and studied at our Prescott, Arizona campus, and she's a safety assurance specialist at Allegiant Air. And then we have Amanda, whose home country is Singapore and studied at the Prescott campus. And um, she is um, just now graduating with her MS in safety science. So finally, we'll go on to our applied science programs. This is our area of concentration that really is a, a bucket that encompasses all of our additional programs that we offer at Embry-Riddle. So when it comes to applied science, you can study anything from aerospace, aerospace physiology, which I mentioned is our pre-med program, to applied biology, applied meteorology, communications, computer science, forensic biology, forensic psychology, human factor psychology or ergonomics. This is a very specialized um, psychology program and also my undergraduate major. Um, and basically that is the design of the workplace for human use. Um, an excellent uh, specialized psychology program if you're interested in psychology. And going back to human factor psychology, this student started with her home country in Senegal and came to the Daytona Beach campus. And she is a human factors engineer at Apple. As I mentioned at the beginning of the presentation, which I, I think maybe some of you might have missed, um, we have two residential campuses in the United States, one in Arizona and one in Florida. I'm joining you today from our Florida campus and I'm definitely happy to talk to you about all of our campuses today. Uh, the Daytona Beach campus is located about 10 minutes from the beach in a lovely uh, community, residential mostly. Uh, not too busy, not a ton of traffic, um, beautiful weather all year round, lots of outdoor activities. We're about an hour away from Orlando, Florida and all of the theme parks. Um, so it really is a lovely place to live and to study. Uh, with that said, um, the same, same thing goes for the Prescott, Arizona campus, just a lovely part of the United States, uh, but a completely geographic, different geographic region. Uh, this is a mountain community located just north of Phoenix, um, and they experience all four seasons um, and lots of amazing opportunities for mountain biking, hiking, kayaking. Um, so both of these locations were strategically picked because they offer excellent weather around the year for training pilots, as that's one of the things that we do. So really, when students ask me, well, which campus should I choose? I really recommend you go onto our website, take a virtual campus tour um, of both campuses, and note that they are quite different. 
Uh, we do offer many programs um, at both campuses. So for instance, um, if you're interested in aerospace engineering, you can study that at either campus. But um, keep in mind, they're just two very different campuses. So you can decide and see what might be the best fit for you. But then there are some programs that are only offered at one campus. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the program of interest. I'm going to go ahead and show you another brief video. So I hope that gave you a feel for the Florida campus. And next we'll go over some fast facts about the Florida campus. Uh, you'll see that we have about, well, actually these numbers are a bit dated. We have almost 8,000 students at our Florida campus. We have over 107 countries represented and about a 17% international um, student uh, percentage. So that's really exciting. We are a very international campus. So you will not be the only student from Turkey or wherever your home country is that you reside in. It's likely you'll find other students uh, from your home country or at least nearby countries. With that said, let's take a quick look at the Prescott, Arizona campus. So I hope that helped give you a picture of what the Prescott, Arizona campus looks like um, to give you a feel for those two campuses. Our Prescott, Arizona campus is a bit smaller. Both of our campus sizes would be considered small to medium size with very small classroom sizes. So probably what you're used to in your high school classes. Um, we have about 41 countries represented at the Arizona campus 
and a 7% international student rate. I mentioned briefly that we do have a Singapore campus, so if you are interested in studying within Asia, that's definitely an option for you. You'll see your undergraduate degree options at the Singapore campus and the graduate and postgraduate options at the Singapore campus. So some fast facts, over 94% of our surveyed Embry Riddle graduates are employed or they're continuing their education within one year of graduation, which just shows you the excellent opportunities for our alums after they graduate. And I had mentioned we have over 137,000 alums around the globe. And some of the employment outcomes, you'll see some logos that might look familiar to you here. And I'm just trying to get through this presentation quickly so that I can answer your many questions. I see that they are coming through fast and furious and I wanna leave plenty of time for that. But I also wanna finish um, sharing some of this important information because it might help answer your questions. Um, students can work on campus up to 20 hours per week during the school year. Uh, keep in mind, this won't really cover your tuition, but it's great extra spending money and a great way to be active on campus. Let's talk about campus life and student activities next, starting with a brief video on the Daytona Beach, Florida campus. Okay, so I hope that video was helpful showing you Daytona Beach. Also, our athletic programs at Embry-Riddle Daytona Beach campus are listed here. We are part of the NCAA Division II, and you can definitely uh, look more into our athletic programs, and we do even offer athletic scholarships. We also have over 100 clubs and organizations at the Daytona Beach campus, and this is just a brief snapshot of our clubs and organizations, just to give you an idea of how you can be active at Embry-Riddle. And next, we will go into a brief video for the Prescott, Arizona campus. Okay, so let's move on to talking a little bit more about the Prescott athletic opportunities. You'll see the men's and women's athletic programs for the Prescott, Arizona campus. We are part of the NAIA division, 
at the Arizona campus and we do offer athletic scholarships as well as the Daytona Beach campus does. So the Prescott organizations are listed here. Now this is just a brief snapshot. So anything from a skydiving club, helicopter club to the International Student Association, you can definitely be involved in many activities on campus. And you might have heard of CPT or OPT, but if you've not heard of CPT or OPT, let's briefly talk about them because these are opportunities, whether you choose um, Embry-Riddle, Aeronautical University, or you choose another university in the United States. Uh, CPT is also known as curricular practical training, and this is an opportunity for international students to do an internship while they're a student in the United States. So definitely look into this option if you're coming to the United States. The optional practical training is the opportunity to work in the United States after you graduate. And this can be anywhere from one year um, and possibly granted an additional two years if you're part of a STEM program. So just something to be aware of as you think about your future career. In the United States, we do offer opportunities for you to find internships and jobs after you graduate to work at least for a brief time. Next, we're going to talk about tuition. And you'll see the list of estimated costs for the undergraduate programs at the residential campuses. Total cost of about 53,000 US per year. The graduate cost of about 34,000 US per year. Also keep in mind, if you are doing flight training, there are additional costs for flight, and we can talk about that a little bit later. If you're interested in our worldwide online programs and you want to study completely online from your home country, total cost for undergrad is about 11,000 per year and graduate about 10,000 per year. Next, we'll go over the merit scholarship opportunities. Generally, these opportunities are based on your high school GPA or if you've gone to university, your transfer GPA. Um, at your university. Um, generally speaking, we do require students to submit SAT or ACT college entrance exams to be considered for scholarships. So keep that in mind if you're considering SAT or ACT. It's not required for admission purposes at Embry-Riddle, but it is required for scholarship consideration. Our scholarships are partial scholarships. They won't cover the full cost of tuition. At the undergraduate level, they range from about $2,000 per year up to about $12,000 per year. So again, won't cover your full cost of tuition, but can certainly help pay for room and board and those extra fees. Our admission criteria is listed here. So if you are interested in applying for one of our programs at the undergraduate level, you'll see the list of required documents. If your language of instruction was not in English, we do require TOEFL, IELTS, or Duolingo. And I will be sending you a detailed information email after this presentation with all of the requirements listed. And the same thing goes for graduate. Um, here's an admissions checklist. Some of our programs require GRE or GMAT. So that means um, they are entrance exams for our graduate programs. Not all of the programs require GRE or GMAT, so you'll want to talk with our graduate admissions team about what is required for your particular program. So now that you're cleared for takeoff, I just have a couple of um, uh, ideas and thoughts as we conclude the presentation on what you should be looking for, whether you choose Embry-Riddle as your future university or you're looking at other institutions. I wanted to give you some tips. First, become familiar with academic trends and employment options in your home country. Explore beyond the obvious career paths. Consider the school's on-campus resources, including simulators, um, uh, tutoring op options for you, um, what kind of dining options do they have. Just think about all of the things that will make your college life feel like home for you. Find and read books that are about areas of interest. Um, know before you go and keep an open mind and explore your options for studying abroad. So with that said, I'll just leave up our contact information. You'll want to take a quick snapshot of this. So 
Maybe you're interested in the Arizona campus. Um, this is how you'll get in touch with my colleagues at the Arizona campus. You'll see the Florida campus international admissions account. You can reach me and my other colleagues through this email account. And of course, our online in Asia campuses as well. So take a quick uh, snapshot of this. And I see we have numerous questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on those. Um, thank you for everyone that said hello. I appreciate that. Um, let's see, going through here, many of them. Okay, so now let me go into the questions box. Okay, here we go. Okay, uh, first question is, can I change uh, my major or my campus? Um, so if you've applied already to Embry-Riddle and you've decided to change your mind on your major or your campus, you can certainly reach out to us. We'll help you do that. Um, it's always best to take some time to think about what program, what campus you're interested in. As I mentioned, um, taking a virtual campus tour is always a great way to start. Um, start really exploring through our website. That's my number one piece of advice. Which campus is the biggest one and um, advantageous, advantageous for living expenses? Is it Arizona? So um, the Daytona Beach, Florida campus is the largest in relation to our population. But as I mentioned, both campuses are considered small, medium size. The Arizona campus is a bit smaller. Um, and both of the costs are very um, similar. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and so there isn't really, you just want to look at geographic region, what seems to be the best fit for you. Okay, now we see a question, can international students do an internship while they study? Um, as I mentioned, that would be a CPT opportunity, uh, curricular practical training. So yes, we do offer internship opportunities in your field of study. Uh, do you offer housing on campus? Yes, we certainly offer housing. In fact, it is required on the Daytona Beach campus and the Arizona Florida, <laughs> I'm confusing them, the Daytona Beach Florida campus and the Prescott Arizona campus, you will be required to live um, in the housing at least the first year at the D Daytona Beach campus for two years. Okay, how many students are enrolled at the Daytona Beach campus and what is the student faculty ratio? So at the Daytona Beach campus, we're looking at about, at about 8,000 total students. Um, and the student faculty ratio, I would say generally is about 17 to one um, with class sizes generally being 25 students or less. So you're going to have small classroom sizes. Um, do we help students in your job search and do you have any co-ops or internships available? We have a career service team that's dedicated to helping our international students find internships and jobs after they graduate. Keep in mind that actually uh, we even offer, I think I mentioned that at the very beginning of the presentation, we offer um, career expos both in the fall and the spring where you can meet one-on-one -on -one, face to face with uh, companies from around the nation, around the globe. Um, they come to our campus and you'll be um, even setting up interviews with some of those um, companies. So it's really a great opportunity. Um, okay, so do you have a program to convert my license to FAA? Yes, you can convert your um, license to an FAA license. Uh, you can email me directly and I can give you more information on how you can do that. Uh, do this, are the same programs offered in all campuses? Um, in many cases, we do have overlapping programs, but you'll want to look at that individual campus and make sure, um, let's say, for instance, you're interested in Daytona Beach, uh, you'll want to make sure that you're looking at the programs that are offered specifically at the Daytona Beach campus. Okay, and what are the requirements to apply for a doctoral program for electrical engineering, and is it paid? Um, so for that question, um, I would definitely want to direct you to graduate got admissions at erau.edu. So I'm sending that to you right now so you have that email account. Um, if you struggle to find that, please reach out to me and I'll be happy to direct you. 
Uh, next question, is the pilot program duration one year? No, our bachelor's programs are four years in length. Um, so we don't offer just a flight training. We offer a bachelor's degree program that combines flight with your academics. So that means in four years, you will graduate with your all of your FAA licenses and a bachelor's degree. And at the major airlines, generally, it is required to have a bachelor's degree. So that's why we combine those opportunities. Let's see. So um, I see that someone's asking for my email address. Let me put that in the chat for everyone. My personal email, you can reach out to me anytime. I'm also going to put the graduate admissions email here. If you're interested in graduate, specifically master's programs, PhD programs, you'll want to reach out to graduate admissions. Um, but any general questions, you can uh, reach out to me and I can always send those to the correct departments. So um, with that said, we got through the questions a lot more quickly than I thought we were going to, but I'd be happy to answer any more questions that you have. Um, I'm definitely um, open to any questions that you have. The questions you've sent forward have been excellent. Um, so please keep them coming. Great, I'm seeing many thank yous. Hopefully you all could see my email there. And again, I will be emailing you more information on Embry-Riddle. So if you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Let me also, since we have a minute, I'm going to share a link um, in the chat here. So if you want to set up a one-on-one -on -one session with me, um, you can definitely do that. Um, give me one second. So if you have some very specific questions and you want to set up um, an opportunity to meet with me, uh, you definitely can do that. We are, we are also offering live virtual sessions. Um, so if you want to come to another live session like this one, it, it's totally free. Um, I'm going to send you our calendar so that you can also sign up for another information session. Maybe your parents, you have family, you have friends that might want to know more about Embry-Riddle. Um, you can visit us here at eru.edu slash international. You can watch our pre-recorded sessions um, and all of that should help you out. So um, if you don't have any other questions, I guess we will go ahead and um, finalize the presentation and I just want to say thank you so very much for your attention. Thank you for your excellent questions and I certainly hope that someday I'm meeting you um, in Turkey or you're meeting me here at the Daytona Beach Florida campus. Would love to see you. Yes, thank you very much for your fantastic presentation, Tara. Uh, it was a really informative webinar for our attendees. And we had a lot of questions. You covered them all. Thank you for your answers, too. My pleasure. And also, I would like to thank the participants in Turkish as well. Katıldığınız için teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar. Embry Riddle ile ilgili diğer sorularınız için Tera'nın paylaşmış olduğu mail adresinden iletişime geçebilirsiniz. Aynı zamanda linkleri incelemenizde faydalı olacaktır. Yarınki webinarlarımızda görüşmek üzere. Thank you very much again, Tara. It was a pleasure to have you in IFT Talks. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.